In today's class, we are going to learn about addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. Okay, now uh, whenever we are going, to, we have learned about uh, the place values of decimal number in our previous lesson. So in today's lesson, that is going to help you in adding the decimal numbers. Now, for example, if you have a number here, thirty-five point one five, and you are going to add a number. 2.1 in it so when you are adding uh, this number you need to be careful about aligning the decimal number when we work with decimal it is very important to write our sums neatly okay first thing with the decimal point and the columns properly aligned all right and if you have the decimal number which is which are having a uh, different number of decimal places so we can make them alike by putting the zero and making them alike all right so we have to be careful about writing the sum of decimal number first of all we can write here you can use a place value chart also that can help you in writing the decimal numbers so that place value chart I'm going to write it here as since we have 35 so we can write it with tens ones then a decimal point then we have tenth and then we have hundred so we're gonna put the decimal the, uh, our numbers under these columns all right since we have 35.15 so we're going to put here 35 3 under the column of tens, 5 under the column of ones, then place the decimal, then we have 1 tenth and 5 hundredth. And now we have 2.1, so we have 2 ones here, so in the column of ones we will write down 2, then decimal, point and then 1, uh, one tenth, so we copy down 1 tenth as it is. So now for what we will do with the empty spaces, we can place the zeros under the empty spaces, so it will be easy for you to add. So you can place the uh, zero under the uh, empty spaces. All right, and now we are going to add these numbers. So we are going to have five plus zero is five, and one plus one is two. Decimal point under decimal point. Then you have five plus two is seven, and three plus zero is so your answer is 37.25 so when you're adding the decimal numbers you have to be careful about the the uh, place values you have put here and the columns which are and the columns which are empty you can put zeros in that column so it will be easy for you to add them all right now we're going to understand how we can add subtract the decimal numbers now if you have 39.25 Five one minus sixteen point zero one two. Now over here we have two decimal place in the first number and three decimal place in the second number first of all we're going to see that we have both the numbers have tens value so we're going to put the place value chart first we're going to write here as tens ones decimal tenth hundredth and thousandth all right so now here we're going to write down 39.51 39.51 and since it has it doesn't have a thousandth value so you can place a zero so that it will be easy for you to help we can put the zeros in the empty spaces all right now we have 16.012 and now we are going to subtract it okay since we cannot subtract 0 2 from 0 so we're going to take uh, we're going to uh, borrow from 1 so it will be 0 here and 1 will be carried here so it will be 10 minus 2 is 8 0 minus 1 again we're going to take from here it will become 4 and this will become 10 so 10 minus 1 is 9 4 minus 0 is 4 
place a decimal number 9 minus 6 is 3 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so your answer is 23.498 thousandth or we can say 23.498 all right so that's how we can add and subtract the decimal numbers and now we are going to see that how we can multiply the decimal numbers when you're going to have to uh, multiply the decimal numbers we have to be careful about the decimal point again and we have to multiply it like the way we multiply the whole number if you have for example 15.256 and you're going to multiply it with 13 so we are going to make a sum and multiply it like 3 6 are 18 3 5 are 15 so 5 here and 1 carried 3 2 are 6 plus 1 is 7 3 5 are 15 5 here and 1 carried 3 1 are 3 plus 1 is 4 and now we are going to multiply all of these numbers by 1 I'm going to multiply the previously carried numbers here So multiply all of these numbers 15.256 by the 1. So for that we are going to first place a cross here for the tens and then we are going to multiply by 1. 1 6 are 6, 1 5 are 5, 1 2 are 2, 1 5 are 5 again and 1 1 are 1. Now we are going to add it. You will have 8 plus 0 is 8. 5 plus 6 is 11, 1 here and 1 carried, 7 plus 1 is 8 and 8 plus 5 is 13, 3 here and 1 carried, 5 plus 1 is 6 and plus 2 is 8, 4 plus 5 is 9 and write down, copy down 1 as it is. So now we, we have to going to put the decimal place. All of you can see that in the decimal number 15.256 in this number here 15.256 now you can see that here we have three decimal places all right so if you have three decimal place here you can see we have three numbers after decimal point two five and six so we are going to write down three decimal place in the answer also okay in the answer also we will write down three decimal places and that you're going to write, uh, count the three numbers from the right side okay one two three and place a decimal here so your answer is 198.318 all right